Okay, so this video is on how God created the flood and how the continents became dry after the flood. So God brought about a flood in order to get rid of the Atlantic continent and also the Pacific continent, which I do not have a photo, a picture of right here, but you get the picture here. This is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge here, the Mid-Atlantic, uh, it's a chain of mountains in the Mid-Atlantic, uh, which forms the Atlantic continent that once existed, which is also the city of Atlant or the civilization of Atlantis, which is mentioned in Plato's Republic. It was mentioned in Plato's Republic that Atlantis was very high tech, which is true, um, or it would appear to be. Um, and so what were the Atlanteans all about? The Atlanteans, in my opinion, and in the opinion of others on YouTube, uh, that I subscribe to are um, that the Atlanteans were fallen angels and that the fallen angels formed kingdoms over here and had offspring and had um, their own empires over here and they also had empires of course on the mainland as well uh, but these were like their main strongholds would be the Atlantic continent and the Pacific continent so um, God brought about this flood because they were were doing more than just sinning they were engaging in genetic manipulations they were terrorizing the human population and to show that they were engaging in genetic manipulations we have um it's mentioned in romans uh 123 and ex and exchange the glory of the immortal god for images made to look like a mortal human being and birds and reptiles and or birds and animals and reptiles i should say so it's like um it's pretty much like this they were they exchange God in exchange for the things that they made the images that they're referring to here are things that they made these genetic manipulations that they created um being humans, uh, birds, and animals, and reptiles that they created, hence the dinosaurs, that's what the reptiles are probably referring to, maybe the dinosaurs were created by them, we don't really know, but we do know that on the Narmer palette, which I don't have a picture of, but I could, you could Google it if you want, um, I can find one for you if you want right now, but anyway, I'll, actually, let's find the Narmer palette really quickly, uh, Narmer palette, See if I can get a really good image of it for you. Um, we have the Narmer palette here, but I need a really a good image of it. See if I can. Where's the one I'm looking for? Here it is. Okay. Okay, so on the Narmer palette here, we have this is a pre flood kingdom um, in Egypt. Um, this is uh, right before the, you know, a bit before the deluge. We have um, what look like dinosaur tamers and these are dinosaurs these are like you know brachiosauruses basically these are some sort of genetic manipulation well they could be dinosaur and or um some form of altered beast considering that they've got hence why you also have the genesis game altered beast because the elites know what went on back then uh and they're just hinting at it in pop culture in our contemporary they've been doing this for quite a while um so anyway um this could be, it looks like it's kind of like a dinosaur and or a uh, altered beast of some kind that um, that has a long neck. I mean, you don't have this kind of animal existing now. And these people are apparently taming this animal, so they're using it to do something with. Um, so that shows you right there that they had genetic manipulations there. Um, and then we also have this, some of the more um, direct references to the genetic manipulations, uh, which were the Nephilim created kids. Uh, they had progeny. Um, in Genesis 6 4 they mentioned that um, so we have that there and well we'll just read briefly the Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward and the sons of God went on to the daughters of humans and had children by them they were the heroes of old men of renown so we have that um, so that's the basically the gist of it God brought about a flood to eliminate them and God might have brought about the flood um, by this i mean you we're going to try to explain things here a little bit scientifically of how this might have happened is that god made the earth very cold somehow and when water uh water at let's say the equator right here in this false globe model right here that we have water at the equator tends is moist on the, in the ocean it's or near the surface of the ocean uh it's hot and moist it rises up it condenses and it forms cumulonimbus clouds and rains down so if you make the air above the um all the bodies of water very cold water will tend to condense a lot quicker and easier especially if the water pre-existing here is very warm it will want to rise up and condense very quickly so god basically made the air very very cold um and the water then went up 
form cumulonimbus clouds and rain for 40 days and 40 nights, as it states in the book of Genesis. So, and to show that God made it very cold, you can see the fact that there was an ice age, most likely directly after the deluge happened. You have these ice sheets forming here, here, and down here as well. Um, we can't really call this down here. This is, like I said, this is a false global model. So we'll for this as like the outer part of the um, outer part of the um, flat Earth, because this is not a flat Earth model, as you can see here. Um, so we have that. So God made the air very cold. Um, drop the water drop down. Um, God also might have done something like this. God also could have also dropped water from the firmament. So as you see here, we have waters above the firmament. God could have dropped water down from the firmament, made the, and then also maybe after that, maybe made it rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, even though the Bible does not state that, that could have happened because there are waters above the firmament. Uh, but the problem is opening up the firmament was probably not an option due to the fact that it would let out all the air. Um, so we have that. Um, so the thing is, is um, how did the water then get off the continents after the deluge? Uh, because the continents had to be dried, and it's obvious that there was a massive, uh, or based on biblical accounts, in my opinion as well, I believe that the flood happened, and that the Bible is accurate. Um, and the Bible is also, in my opinion, the most ultimate form of truth, um, or one of the most ultimate forms of truth, if not the ultimate. Um, so anyway, what we have here is to show that Noah did land at Mount Ararat. To, so the land around that area was flooded as well as the land, as long with uh, as well as with the land around you know areas like Egypt where they had that that um, Egyptian dynasties like the Narmer kingdom there where I just showed you the Narmer palette uh, and also they had kingdoms um, you know in uh, Mesopotamia over here pre flood so those got flooded out and Noah landed at Mount Ararat so the land obviously was flooded too. Um, to show that and how the water got off these continents is that the ice expanded and it took in the water a bit. Um, so that's one way of getting the water off. The other way of getting the water off the continents is the fact that it slowly drained off most likely because water always goes to the lowest source, hence why rivers on the mainland always, like over here we have the Columbia River where I live, the Columbia River drains out into the uh, Pacific and you have that everywhere. You have them forming deltas, the rivers, will water will go to the lowest source, to the lowest point anywhere, so water drains out into the ocean. So that's pretty much what happened. Um, so that's the gist of how the flood happened and how or at least I think that the flood, how it might have happened, and how um, the continents got dry afterwards. So we have this immediate ice age that formed afterwards due to the fact that the air was really, really cold. Um, the water might have also been very cold as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, that's how God might have done it. So it explains it a little bit. So I hope you have a good day, and God bless.